Are we on? We're on. Hi, everyone. It's Vicki. I'm just going to pull up my um, computer here so I can follow along with you. Welcome. This is Vicki, like I said, at Stamp with Vicki. And, okay, there we go. Okay. Welcome. This is Vicki, like I said, at Stamp with Vicki. Oh, how's that happening? Okay, there we go. Um... Okay, I just had to mute it. That was kind of freaky. That has the first time that's happened. <laughs> hmm, talking to myself. I guess I just needed to unmute. That's interesting. Um, please let me know that you can hear me. Well, I would assume so. I'm recording through my phone. Never mind. I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to give it just a quick second. Um, it's just 8.30 for uh, people to pop on, and then I will get to it. Uh, tonight we're going to use the Good Morning Magnolia Bundle, uh, and this bundle is amazing. It's so pretty, and I just can't stop with it. So I made three cards, um, and then I have more to do. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so here is one of the cards that we will create today, and I can't see... Boop. Okay, I think you can see that. Um, whoops, there we go. Now this one I cased from Colleen Magnus, who is my dear friend in Upline. Um, she did this on her live for our, our group the other night, and I just thought it was so pretty. So she, of course, graciously said I could copy her. <laughs> um, she had a green backing on her card, and we're going to do that tonight just so I have a couple of different options. So... That's the first thing we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, I love how um, that magnolia is just gorgeous. Uh, get that out of the way. Um, okay, the next one, trying to see here. You can see that the lighting probably doesn't do a whole lot of justice. The green is soft sea foam and it's super light, but I discovered the white shimmering embossing powder. Oh yeah, that's a game changer, it's gorgeous. And so fun. So we are going to use it tonight. However, I have pre-embossed. So just to you know make things go a little quicker, I didn't on um, on the first card. So we'll emboss that one. And then I do have one more to show you, and that is this guy. Let me know. There we go. I'm still adjusting to the camera, so just make sure you can see it all. Um, and this is just. I don't even have the words. It's just gorgeous. So again, with the shimmery embossing powder. Um, one thing, I mean, I guess magnolias are white. I have no idea if they come in colors. <laughs> I don't think so, but mine do. Uh, so I, I think they're very pretty. <laughs> We're gonna just run with that tonight. I'm very literal. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Let me, excuse me. Oh gosh, Winston, come on, Win. I'm sorry, everyone. Winston's chewing on his... Winston! I'm sorry. Winston! Wait! Stop! He's chewing on his toy. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put the toy out or him. I'll give him one more sec. Uh, he just loves to play. Okay. So, the stamp set that we're going to be using, like I said, is Good Morning Magnolia. I know there's probably a little bit of a glare on it. And that's the big magnolia. It has some sentiments and a little guy. And then I did use just one stamp from Itty Bitty Birthdays. And this is another great stamp set. It's so versatile for birthdays and I love it. Let me, I'm sorry to interrupt. I have to go put my dog out. Come on, out, come on. Go. Sorry about that. Next time, I don't mind him being in here, but the next time I have to make sure his quiet toys are in here with us. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, like I said, we're gonna take the soft sea foam. This is your standard card size, and so it is five and a half by eight and a half. When you fold it in half, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. We'll go ahead and set that aside. And then we have a layer of crumb cake, which we're going to use. And that is, um, I have it written down, four by five and a quarter, 
which is standard. A lot of times you kind of just go down by a quarter of an inch, make things simple. Um, for the inside, then we have a piece of the gold foil and that is cut at three and three eighths by five and three eighths. And I did that because I didn't want a really big, um, I wanted a smaller um, outline from that card, a smaller base. Uh, at, and you'll, you'll see why after. I didn't want a full quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. Um, so that's that. And then this one here is three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I have a little piece of white that we're going to use later. Um, if you're watching, definitely please say hi so I know you're here. That would be great. Um, all right, the first thing I'm going to do, so you'll see on this this card, the original card, it's, it, you know, it's, it's layered, but it's still one flower, I guess is a good way to explain it. And so we're gonna do that now. And it's really easy. It looks kind of complicated, but it's easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the smaller piece. I'm gonna put two teeny, teeny pieces, or you know, bits of uh, adhesive, just regular snail adhesive. And then I'm gonna line it up. Um, you know what? I don't know where my glasses are. Okay. Line it up the best I can on that. So you could put one little dab in the center, but uh, Colleen had a good point in that it moves around a lot. So, uh, here are my glasses. Go ahead and put a couple of little dabs because you're going to take it off. Hey, Kristen, good to see you. Um, you're going to take that off and then put it back on so you don't want to completely adhere it at this point. So, where is my Versa mark? I have, okay, here we go. Leave every, I do have it all organized and ready to go. <laughs> where did I put it? All right, so this stamp is ginormous, just gigantic. It's huge. So we're gonna go ahead, and for the big stamps, like the background stamps, you may have heard me say before, I usually like to take the ink pad and dab it on top of the stamp. It's just, you can make sure it gets coverage that way. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna take it kind of off to the side a little bit yeah get it on there and straight down and I'm gonna put as much pressure on it as I can without trying to tip it because if we tip it we'll get those edges which we definitely don't want those so okay you may be able to see that that's the verse mark we use that because it keeps it you know the ink stays wet we're going to emboss with the, <laughs> I always forget the embossing buddy, every time. And I even took it out. Um, okay, so we're gonna emboss it with gold. Gold embossing powder. And to do that, we're just gonna sprinkle the powder on the flower. So you would use the embossing buddy to, um, you know, uh, help avoid the, um, you can do things at once here, the static and any of that extraneous embossing powder. And I see there's a little bit on that flower right there. I might just have to deal with it. I'm gonna take, I have a little brush. I can take that and try and get some of that off. But anyway, that's why you would use the, uh, that was a bad idea. Uh, embossing buddy. All right, well, we're just gonna do it. <laughs> I made it worse, as it is. I'm gonna step to the side just a second to emboss it with my heat gun. So I'll take just a second.
Yeah, I know, right, Kristen? I think, well, what if I go to put it on YouTube, if I ever learn how to really, really <laughs> um, edit videos, then that's what I can definitely do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, oh boy, messy mess, and stick this off to the side. Um, I have embossing powder all over, of course, so. I love these little trays. I wish Stampin' Up! still sold those. But I have this little guy, which I use a lot, and I have um, a big, big one, which is a little too big. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I know, how funny. Okay, anyway. So here we go, and you'll see how pretty that is. And you'll see there's a little space between the two layers, and that's fine because that's why we cut the gold foil paper, and that's gonna hide that, and all will be well in the world. What we're going to do as well, um, let me show you again. You use coffee cans. Oh, for the embossing, that's a good idea. Nice and deep. I have another tin um, also that I use because I just have the white embossing powder in it. Excuse me, I use that a lot. So you'll see the technique on this card is what are they calling that now? Kind of like a whitewash, a little bit of a chalkboard, something like that. And so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. I, I tried to do this a week or two ago and then I really needed a better stamp, which obviously came in the mail last week. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you're gonna need an aqua painter and white, uh, white ink refill. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, I have a little tray, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my block. And you don't, what you wanna do is you wanna keep it fairly opaque. All right. This could get messy, people. I need to get a napkin, oh, I have one, okay. So I'm gonna squeeze the aqua painter and drop a few drops of water onto that. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. My, my gosh, my white refill is so old. Okay. So we'll go ahead. I'm hoping this is opaque enough. Um, well, we'll give it a shot, Let's see. That's pretty white. I'm gonna just give it more water. All right, that's good, just a lot, of, a lot of water. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna color, okay, really everywhere. So you're gonna color the flower and the, um, and the leaves. And we want it wet, but we don't want it too wet. You can color it as, you know, as white as you want. I do like it a little bit more like I said, opaque, so. Um, but you can do it, you know, however you like. All right, I'm getting the leaves. And it's, you know, it's easy to color. Um, well, it's, you know what, there's a few different things going on now. Uh, we have Gosh, we have um, the clearance rack is updated with several new stamp sets. Um, so we'll go ahead and check that out. You can get there through my online store. I'll post that at the end, uh, like I usually do with all the ingredients for my card here. Well, cards. Um, so that's happening. July is going to be a big month. They're going to start um, with the bonus days again. And so between the 1st and the 31st, when you spend $50, you get $5 in bonus coupons to spend in August, you know, between the 1st and the 31st of August. All right, so here we go. Wiping off my aqua painter, because they're gonna use that again later. Oh, maybe not. Set my block aside, okay. We do have to wait for this to dry. So we'll go ahead and stamp the birthday. 
Um, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and stamp that in soft sea foam, which really is a pretty color. You can use it lots and lots of different ways. I like the freshness of the uh, of this card. Dry, 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 dry. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down here so I can get it straight. Excuse my head. Okay, so overall not bad. We are, <laughs> it's a little crooked. I guess I'll turn that over. We're gonna fussy cut and actually, I don't even need wishes on there. I just want birthday. So let me try and do that. No, that's all right. A little crooked makes it homemade. We'll go ahead, fussy cut around. You all know how I love to fussy cut, not. Okay, oops. Trim it right down. Oh, I made a mess of it, but that's all right. I can fix it later. Just paper. Okay, and to attach it to the card, I actually will use a, um, a mini Stampin' Dimensional. I'll just go ahead and put that on there. Okay, we can set that aside. Dimensionals here. And we can, you know what, we'll stamp the inside. It's still drying. Okay, um, so what I did to do the inside of the card, where's my card? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fix it. I added the magnolia in, in this card. I think I actually might do the pink in, in the um, card for tonight as well. I did the Blushing Bride. Oh, that's right. I did this card in Blushing Bride, not Petal Pink. So maybe what I'll do is do it in Soft Sea Foam to match the card. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Hey, Rose, how are you? It's great to see you. Thanks for catching me tonight. I'm on, a, I'm on early this week. I have a, a little friend has a birthday tomorrow, so I'll be going out to dinner with them. Kind of excited about that. Go to Red Robin and get a hamburger. Um, okay, so essentially I'm going to do the same thing and kind of stamp it, you know, in the bottom corner. Hold both sides is a good way. You can put as much, oh gosh, it's going down now, or as little of the stamp on it you know, as you want. When, another thing you could do would be to stamp it off on scrap paper. And then, you know, it would just be a little bit lighter and that would be really pretty too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it because we're gonna use this again later. Sure is big guy. But I gotta tell you, this chamois is pretty handy. There, I think we're good. <laughs> Me too. Everybody's been so busy with their lives lately. The Facebook lives, it's kind of crazy. It's fun to get online and while we're stamping and you know, just kind of catch somebody else. It's been fun. Okay, so I'll go ahead and set my big stamp aside. And I'm gonna hit the flower super quick with the heat gun. Um, I hate to do that to you again, but it'll be quick and worth it. mind if it's a little wet I just want you to be able to see what's going on here okay so I think what we'll do is we'll start with the petal pink and so I'm going to take a, a sponge dauber go ahead and get it loaded up um, and I'm gonna go ahead and lightly kind of just, you know, in the center, you're gonna want it darker. Kind of go out to the sides a little bit. Almost like, you know, you're coloring with the blends. I think that's part flower too. Keep it, you know, keep it soft. You'll wanna play with this technique a little bit to see just how much color you actually do want on it. Um, uh, okay, 
trying to just make sure I have a little bit in each of the little flower petals, and I think that's pretty good. Um, I, I really like the white showing, so let me see if you can see that. And I'll go back and do some um, soft sea foam for the leaves. Okay. Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna take another sponge dauber and I had to re ink this puppy already, it's brand new. So maybe what I would do um, for future reference is, yeah, I like it better a little bit lighter. So I would maybe um, take some and just, you know, rub it off on some scrap paper. There we go. There, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and take, remember I said we we're gonna take that part off and we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna adhere it like we mean business. All right. Right onto the gold. Kind of base layer, I guess, the gold layer. Very pretty. And we're gonna be able to line it up with the, um, <laughs> the leaves and what's remaining here. We're gonna go ahead and line that up, which is super simple. <laughs> it is super simple. Okay, make sure I think we're straight. I think we're pretty good, guys. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that was, but you know, I think I moved it. Yeah, a little bit. Let's see if I can adjust it. No, yeah, okay. And there we go. That's better, I think. Oh gosh, that's terrible. There, that's better. All right, so now we'll go ahead and layer that on to the soft sea foam uh, background. A card base, I guess. Go ahead and center that. That's so pretty. I just feel like it's refreshing. It's a refreshing card. And so what I did was I took Happy and out of the well-written dies. And so I cut that out. And as you saw earlier, we took the birthday wishes from the uh, Itty Bitty Birthdays and stamp that and I'm going to go ahead and attach that there and we're going to put the card in the center so for this one since I wanted it to be a birthday card um, um this set does not have a, a birthday sentiment, so I just left it blank, which is fine, but the magnolia is pretty. So there you go, there's the first card. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'm not checking on my video. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so we'll do, next we'll do Thinking of You. And this one has, it does have embossing. We are, it's all done for us though, so. Are good with that what we will do is uh, watercolor okay so put that up there and for the card base on this I used mossy meadow right. so I took the leaf stamp and I used uh, again, sea foam, great soft sea foam. Popular color with this set. And just randomly stamp some leaves going off the paper, staying on the paper, wherever you feel like putting them. Turn them around. 
kind of fun. That's pretty good. Let me do a, whoops, that was a very little bit there and maybe a little bit here. And there, perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and we can set that aside. The next thing, uh, I'm done with this for a second. Is okay. Here's all the parts and pieces. So you can see I've pre-embossed the mini mini magnolias or the blue blossom or the blooms or whatever you call those. So you can see that, and I am also going to go ahead and put those through the big shot. Um, oh goodness. I told Bill I was all ready, and I think I put that back. I do have my big shot right here, but I think I put that die back, not realizing. Yep, here it is. Lots and lots of dies. Okay, so I'll just be a quick second. I guess I can maybe do that over here so you guys have something to watch. Go ahead, line it up. I am using the magnetic platform. I use that quite a bit. There we go. Okay, one. <laughs> Whoops. Go back and we're just gonna do the second one. And you know what, while we're here, we'll probably go ahead and big shot the sentiment as well. Um, here we go. All right. Okay, there we go. When I was doing it on, on my own, I colored them first. I don't really think it matters. You could just probably do however you want. I suppose it's a little easier to color it on a big sheet of paper, but personal preference. Okay, let's see. We'll go ahead and cut out thinking of you. And I used the stitched nested dies. For that, I think you've seen them again, or before, excuse me. All right, line that up. I think that's good. Go ahead and run that through. I'm pretty sure I had glitter in my mouth. Yesterday, <laughs> my my table in my room. I can't imagine how much glitter, that's pretty. They actually vacuum up in here when my ladies come to clean for me. Oops. I actually feel kind of bad for them. <laughs> One comes in and she's trying to clean my room and God bless her, she tries to clean around everything and she doesn't know what to move and what not to move. <laughs> Poor thing, but she does a good job. Okay, we'll go ahead and color these. So I'm just gonna actually take another block. And so this is just a neat little trick when um, you're watercoloring. You know, if you need a tray or something, you can go ahead. I'm just gonna put one drop, I think. See how that goes. Might need more for my big flower, but that's okay. We'll get that later. And one drop here. I do want this to be light. And you know, I did, I'm gonna do two drops of the pink. Um, the big flower I did on shimmer white. And this I think is on, um, on uh, whisper white. Okay, so let's see where we are with this. Go ahead and color the flower first. We'll color the petals. You're brave, I shut my door. That is the room they don't clean. <laughs> she doesn't touch much. <laughs> Poor thing. I, uh, they vacuum, which is nice. I mean, there's just, I mostly, if I catch her in here, I'll just tell her to go ahead and move on. Okay. I had a little too much water and I just colored the, uh, a leaf, but we're going to go over that. Okay. So this would be, 
probably better to do on the shimmery white or the um, new watercolor paper. I haven't tried that yet. I am out of rhythm on that. Okay, that works. I think I used a different aqua painter the last time I did this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the leaves. And you can see this is super quick. Oops. There we go. And this leaf. Um, oh, and there's one other thing in, happening in July. Well, it kind of looks brown, but that's all right. Um, and that is a recruiting special. And so when you purchase the kit for $99, you actually get an additional $30 in free product to bring your total for $99 um, up to $155 for $99. So that's another really great deal. So if you're ever, you know, thinking about joining, now is, a, well, July is a really good time. Actually, it goes July and August. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. Um, so be mindful of that, and you'll see that on my Facebook page. I think we can go ahead... You know what, I'm gonna take the um, stamp for that and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna decorate the inside of the card. What did I do? I did Blushing Bride. That's my favorite pink. Well, my favorite pink that we have here, Stampin' Up. My favorite light pink. I think my favorite pink is, well, Lovely lipstick is a cross between pink and red, so I'm not even sure where that falls into it. And you know that's one of my favorites. And I like, Mel I don't know, I guess I like them all. I don't really like pink. <laughs> so like Melon Mondo, Flirty Flamingo. Oh, I'm a mess. Um, oh, I closed it. And you know what? The journey of life is best shared. All right, let's find that. Okay, get that back out again. And this card, we're just gonna go ahead and do them the same color. There. Okay. So we'll go ahead and construct our card. We'll go ahead and put the background on using just snail adhesive. Pretty, pretty easy, self-explanatory, I guess, is what I was going to say. Get that right on there. Um, okay, I think what I did first is I added my Vicky's, what did you call that? The Vicky twist? Kristen. And now every time I do this on a card, that's what I think of, that's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, we're gonna add the Vicky twist to the little label. And I'm gonna position that first. I'm gonna use dimensional. Yep. Vicky twist. All right, I'm gonna keep that at one because we have a lot of things to apply to this and I kind of wanna go, you know, I did again. I keep tearing off. I don't know, I'm starting to wonder if it's me. These are some old paper pumpkin dimensionals. Let me get some new ones. Here we go. And I just keep, you know, ripping the adhesive off with the little, the little tab. Uh, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and put that right about here. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add, all right, I'm gonna tack this down just a little bit. I'm gonna find my home for it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my leaves because then I can place them, oops, under Get them all kind of centered the way I want. Well, actually that's good. So I can go ahead and put that down all the way. And I did use a dimensional for the other flower. And that way, well, so it gives that some dimension, but then I can just slide these little leaves right on underneath. <laughs> See the glitter, it's all sorts of crazy. Crazy glitter. Okay. 
Um, here we go. And that's that. Oh, we're gonna put this, the inside of the card on. We have some extra leaves, put those over there. Kristen, how's the pool? Oh my goodness, are you in that like every day? I would be. There we go. You know what I might even do would be add Wink of Stella to that flower right there. Maybe we should just try. Oh yeah. So if you do this at home, make sure you take your Wink of Stella. Give it a little bit of pizzazz. Perfect. Perfect finishing touch. All right. There we are, Abby. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Card number three. How exciting. I don't even know why I bother. We're just going to get glitter again. Okay. This time we have the big guy. You know, what I used for this is the Magnolia. I don't know what they're called, Magnolia and more. Um, but it's a card pack that goes along with the suite, with the Magnolia Lane product suite. And they're really nice. I realized today that they're about the same width. I think they're about four and a quarter, but they're long, like tall. So I think they're about six and a quarter or so, um, which is fine. But just, I guess, know that if you order them. And I was wondering, oh, what am I going to do with that silver rectangle on the front? Uh, actually, it looks really nice. I hope you can see that. I'm not paying attention again. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this one together. And I, again, I pre-embossed. So I used the shimmer paper. So it's shimmer and shimmer. <laughs> um, and I'll pull it back in my Blushing Bride and Soft Sea Foam. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I just know I'm gonna want more for this card. Hopefully it's not too, too much. And we'll do the sea foam over here. Woo. All right, I'm gonna use Aqua Painter again. So again, um, you can, don't worry about being super meticulous about coloring, but I guess you do wanna make sure you're coloring flower and not leaf. Oh boy, dark, 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 dark. Move it, move it, move it, move it. It's a little darker than I wanted, but that's okay. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 come down here, come down here. There we go. Okay, pretty, pretty. Okay, over here. Um, I do try and get up to the edges though. I want those colored in, at least on this one. You can see I'm just pulling the water, yeah, the water from, okay, well that's pretty. I am gonna tap it, um, cause you know, sometimes it pools. So we'll go ahead now and do the leaves. The watercoloring uh, for these, um, I haven't, uh, Kristen, doing my hair takes too long. Yeah, I bet. You and your curls, which you should wear more, but we won't talk about that on TV. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and do the leaves. There we go. Okay. These are pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. And, you know, honestly, the uh, embossing powder really holds the glitter well. Um, I was kind of thinking, oh, the glitter's just going to fall off. I mean, some of it does, and it falls off our glitter paper. I mean, that's glitter, but it really retains most of it. Um, so I was really happy with that. You know how I love the glitter. No! Good save. There. 
Done. See how quick that was? It's gonna be really pretty. Okay, clean off my aqua painter because if I don't, I'll forget. And uh, I know, Kristen. I'm just gonna let that dry for a quick second. And I'm gonna run that through. Actually, you know what we can do? We can stamp, because we're gonna run this through too. We can stamp the uh, Mossy Meadow. And we're gonna stamp it in Mossy Meadow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take, uh, I was just thinking about the order of things. We'll go ahead and do this, it's fine. So I'm gonna go take the big stamp. Um, I think Sonia might order this sweet Kristen um, at Next Club. I don't know if she's on here tonight. She'll be on. Um, okay. I take my little piece. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what we have. Okay, we're gonna big shot it, so. I'm not doing this in any particular um, position because we're gonna pop it out we're on, actually we're going to do two things. We're going to pop it out and then we're going to use the, um, well, you know what? Let's think about this for a second. What would be the best way? Do you know we're gonna use the subtle embossing folder on it? So go ahead and since I have A magnetic plate on already. We'll go ahead and we'll do the big flower first. Okay. We are gonna have to do a little bit of fussy cutting with this as well, but it's minimal. I'm just gonna um, fussy cut around the leaves. So it won't be bad and totally worth it, totally worth it. Okay, so we have that, and we now can go ahead and, I just wanted the flower to dry a little bit. We're not gonna cut into where it's wet. That's not a, an issue. I just didn't want the ink to slide and stick. There, I think that looks pretty good. And cutting that. All right. So Kristen, I, um, I'm going to do my, did I tell you this like five seconds ago? I thought about it, but I'm not sure if I did. I've been busy here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my next class, I think, with this bundle because there's still a lot of cards, uh, you know, and things I want to try and practice. So there we go. Pretty and shiny. All right. So now I can go ahead and get rid of the magnetic platform. And use, oh goodness, what did I do with it? Here it is. So having this cart down here really makes a difference. I'm still, you know, you're always organizing and working on things and trying to make yourself more efficient. Um, and I, I'll show you at the end about another little um, guy today to help with uh, papers. I know I just have, oh. I know I just had the embossing folder. Okay. Just pop it in there. You can do it vertically, uh, horizontally. It doesn't matter. Whichever you prefer. Yeah, I have, I have a few, a few ideas. I think I might even do like a 3D box with it this time. There's some cute ideas for that too. All right, go ahead and put this down here. All right, so I don't know, let me move the big shot. Hopefully you can see that there's a little bit of texture on that. If not, and then just trust me that it's there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just cut out the leaves. I'm actually gonna cut out the leaves like that. So I have a little bit of space to put um, adhesive on. Probably could have done that all at once. That's okay. 
Boom, 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 boom. See? Painless. Okay. So, we have leaves. <laughs> and it's nice because, I mean, the card really, with the silver rectangle on it, it's pretty embellished already. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put Vicky's twist. Here, I used the um, Magnolia Memories and uh, the Magnolia um, Ribbon Combo. That's where I got the green twine, and I also, if you can see, I used metallic thread, the silver. So I'm still using the metallic thread, even if it's the silver or the pink. Okay, and this gets probably a lot of dimensionals, more than I would normally use. But I really want this guy to be strong. Um, I probably didn't need that. Okay. Well, you know what, though? Go ahead and put one here. So I'll take those. Really, this card is pretty simple. Um, embossing is easy, and it's a lot of fun. And with this shimmer embossing powder, I'll tell you. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and arrange it just so. I think the trickiest thing about this stamp is that it's so big. You know, sometimes this card is fine because it's longer, but it can be a little tricky to arrange it on the card. But then you just clip off the edges of the leaves and that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in some leaves. We're gonna put this guy All right, you know what though? I can just trim it off at the base. There. Okay, there he is. Okay, I did those together. I'm gonna go ahead and that. Oh, you know what? I, I remember I didn't even use them all. I don't know. What do you think? One more? Or we don't need it? What do you think, Kristen? One more? Why not? There. So the only thing we have left to do, we have two things, I guess. Two quick things. Yeah, I know, right? Why not? Okay, we do have to clean up, well, big stamp again. Go ahead and, oh, you know what? That's what I forgot on here. It's lovely lipstick. All right. Thanks. Mossy Meadow, right straight on the card. I like the simplicity of that. And then we'll go ahead and we have a piece of the inside of the card. We're gonna to have to clean this big stamp first because I used that same, I used this again. Okay. Hopefully this plays nice <laughs> in the uh, pink pad. Okay, yeah, I think it will. Oops. There. Wish me luck, so that's going in a pink pad. Okay. We have the Blushing Bride. We'll do the same thing we did last time. Go ahead and stamp it. Oh, ink it, I suppose. And stamp it. A little bit in the corner. Down she goes. Okay. Back up. 
I think we did okay with that green, getting that off of there. And this time I do have another sentiment. We'll use uh, the mossy metal for that. That was pretty. Mix it up a little bit. Try and see. Okay, so basically the card in the front says, thanks. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. Stampin' Up's done a really nice job with um, their sentiments this past couple years. They've had some, some nice ones. Some sets I know that I'll keep for a very long time just because I want that. And, you know, it's okay if they're retired. Sometimes you just need a specific sentiment. Okay. There we go. All right. And there we go. So card number three. Hopefully you can see that okay. And you know what? Let me show you this. Um, these cards come with envelopes the, from the Memories and More Suite. And the envelopes have envelope paper. So we're gonna go ahead, find my adhesive is right in front of me. I'm just gonna put, I don't know. Oh, I could be asking for it with that. I might have to get another piece. No, oh, no, there we go, okay. Get it down there. There, look how pretty that is. Ooh la la. There we go. Oops. I'm surprised that bottom piece is, I didn't notice it was um, scored. I don't think it was. That's sharp. You can go ahead and, where are we? Our card right in there. That's really pretty. It just finishes it off so nicely. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. The last card. One more thing. I forgot to add center. I did put some lovely lipstick in the last one, although I think I might not. So here's the two. Here's one, I have the lovely lipstick in the center just to kind of brighten things up. And this one I don't. I don't know. I think I'm okay with that. Keep it a little different. I guess I can decide. And that is that. Um, let me leave you with the... Uh, let me see, guys. Information. Now, so this is all the product that I used tonight. Um, I did forget to put those cards in there. Um, so that is an addition to this, but for all the cards, this is everything. So you can just take a screenshot of this um, or, you know, pause it on YouTube. If there's something you wanna refer to, that's great. Um, my online store and the hostess code for June, that's getting ready to wind down soon. There'll be a new one for July. So that is June's code. I will uh, leave you with that next week. Whew, next week is July 4th, so. <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna do Wednesday again. Um, yeah, let's do Wednesday again next week because I think hopefully we'll all be doing something fun for the fourth. Um, I know we have a, a block party we started last year, but well, we didn't start it, but some neighbors did. And it was a lot of fun, so we're signed up to go to that this year. Um, yeah, so happy fourth, which I guess I'll say again next week. We'll go ahead and meet again on Wednesday night at 8.30. And if you have any questions, as always, message me, email me. I appreciate you for stopping by. If you missed it live, catch me on the replay. Um, thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Have a great night.